Okay, so hello ladies and gentle maniacs, Tuffy Thing here, and... Well, so I turned... No Man's Sky today, and... Uh, and there's considerably less lag. Considering one thing that, you know, yeah, it just started to lag a bit more, but you know... I've played for a while and it didn't lag one bit. And uh, this is, I mind you, on my native resolution, on which it... First two days it continuously used to lag like a bitch, even while I wasn't recording. So I think they're most probably getting at that part of you know fixing, fixing the damn thing, <laughs> fixing the game performance, which is one thing that I didn't like about this game. Oh, then another thing, uh. When I turned on on this planet, it said that... Ah, uh, shit, don't drop, don't drop, don't... Okay. It said that this planet is, uh, while it has almost no, you know, <laughs> trees, plants or anything, or even animals. And it's, it's kind of, you know, dangerous planet. But it has a lot of useful materials. So that's also a good thing, you know. And as I've said, we're today we're, we'll be continuing uh, on uh, on on uh, on our search on finding an ever bigger, better, smarter, faster <laughs> on a better planet. And also, we're gonna check that beacon in the sky. And you know what? I'm gonna check. It. I'm gonna check it right now because fuck this shit. It like it said that there's a lot of useful materials right here, but. I really wasn't able to find all that much, and uh, and I've also kind of kind of deleted some some of the <laughs> files, you know, <laughs> video files uh, on a mistake, you know. So basically, I'm now I'm just gathering some materials for our uh, long ass journey. Some plutonium. Maybe I can fire in. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's nothing. I hear some strange sounds, but. Eh, you know what? I don't really care. And. How in the fuck's name did I manage to do that? Wait, what the hell? Is this water? Oh, nice! Can I destroy you? Yes, I can, but it's iron. Fuck that. Fuck, fuck iron. Nope. I've killed some of the some of the robots, you know, those who attack you, those droids or whatever. Not friendly dudes. Are you kidding me? Are you serial? Are you serious? I just recharged you like five minutes ago, maybe even less. Okay, so we're gonna enter our bitch. So okay, so when recording it. Goes to shit again, as I've seen. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've I've seen Total Biscuits video on No Man's Sky, and he said that. Uh, well, he said that basically that performance is the biggest issue of the game, and also um, that basically the control of the ship. Holy shit! So bright control of the ship is kinda not as great, you know? With, and with that I have to agree on. It's really difficult to control this thing. And the performance is... Well, now it's gotten better, so... I'd say it's only kinda bad. <laughs> only bad right now. Like, it was... Holy shit, bad, and now it's just bad. So I'm really hope the developers are fixing the damn thing, and uh, there are updates every day. So I'm really hoping that they'll fix this, fix their game in a week or two. Well, when talking about fixing games, it took almost two years to fix the uh, fix uh, Rome Total War 2. So, 
Oh, look at this. Red Terror. <laughs> we came from there. And we named this bitch... Did we came from there? Did we come from this? What the hell is... Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's one big planet, isn't it? Oh, Snapes! Oh, Snapes! Why these sh Why these ships look like miniguns? Like, it's cool, I'm not saying anything, they're cool, but... So, as I said... We're gonna try and follow that, find that beacon. And we won't reach it, uh, that all that, you know, soon, so... I'm gonna try and use my pulse engine. I don't know if the beacon is in this... in this planet, or is it near it? It should be on this planet, right? So that's what I'm talking about. This is fucking speed. Look at this. And it looks like the that the beacon is on this planet, which looks extremely similar to our Earth somehow, if you look at it, like those all those clouds and water... I'm it looks like water, isn't it? Oh, Snapes! Oh, Snapes! Oh, Snapes! Maybe I should turn this off a bit. Oh my god! Okay, stop this, stop, stop it, stop it, stop! Stop the damn- okay. Oh my god, stop spinning, dude! Stop- oh, okay. <laughs> so, the beacon is somewhere there. It sounds kind of disturbing, but I'm still going to check this. So, from all that distance, it looked like it looked like it was on this planet, but like, it, is it really on this planet, or is it just near it? The interesting thing is that. Uh, and this beacon didn't even, uh, you know, disappear when I was checking on our planets, like... Like, I was on other planets and it showed this beacon to me, which is like... I don't know how many light years away... Light speed years... Whatever. You know what, I'm gonna check this planet out. Because it looks awesome and it looks like Earth, so, you know, I really doubted that there are any planets which are, like, really similar to ours, but, ah, fuck it. And... bam. And we're still ten minutes away, holy snapes. Initiating pulse, right? Pulse shit. Oh my god, so fast! Why is it saying, like, arriving in... Nope, nope, nope. Stop. Stop with the lag. Okay. Let's stop. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. Transmission detected. Wow, it's getting louder and louder. Is this a some? Is this something special? Something I don't know what. This is. Why is this so green? Like, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. It's cool, but yo. <laughs> All I've seen was those three, three planets, you know, of, of redness. Completely red. Well, the first one wasn't all that red, but... Our, our, our two were holy shit like red. Huh. I'm thinking if I can, if can reach the beacon. But I'm thinking if I wanna, you know, explore this planet a bit more. Okay, it's not as green as it was before. 
<laughs> it still looks... No, this doesn't look like red, it's like... It looks brown. Brownish. Another planet with rocks, like... Uh, other planet was kinda red. With rocks. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna land here. I love this landing system, just holy snapes. The fuck is wrong with that beacon? It just said 20 minutes away and now it's five it's it said one day, now it's five hours. What the fuck is wrong with it? Euclid Galaxy. Quayo Gagulic hmm. I'm gonna call you I'm gonna call you Rocky Planet and stuff. Another red planet stuff. What? Okay. Look how much money do I have? Jesus Christ! Almost twenty k. Okay. So, but this is this isn't the beacon, right? This is save. Oh, so this is where I. Oh, so okay. So after hours of this game, I. I found. I finally know why these these things are here. These are safe points. Okay. Okay. I get it. Is this? Huh? Is this some sort of hospital? Like? Hmm. Interesting. Damaged machinery. New technology re discovered. Starship Energy Shield is strengthened, provides added pr protection from laser fire, in-flight projectiles, and accidental space debris interaction. Operates automatically once constructive user Starship inventory, and it needs six carite sheets, which require require, <laughs> require iron and iridium, which I no longer have enough. So yeah, okay, yeah, I can do that. Why not? What are these carrots? These are carbonites. Carbons, carbons are good for restoring life energy. And strangely enough, it didn't say, you know, specifics of this planet. Is it really, you know, cold? Or is, is it really hot or whatever? Okay, so we're gonna need rocks. Lots, lots of rocks. <laughs> Let's check double quick. Double quick check this shit. Wait, is this iron? Love enough, okay. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode right here. Yeah, so we've traveled to another planet and we've discovered another kind of red but r rocky planet with no animals and no everything, anything. <laughs> well, you know, it, it might just be my luck, but um, I'm sure we're gonna find anything, something else. Gonna try and, you know, travel at least one planet per video. Yeah, something like that, or at least at the very most two videos per one planet. And, um, yeah, so if you like this journey, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.